All right. Uh, so welcome back to uh, day two of uh, myself um, in this uh, in this whole tattooing myself thing. Um, kind of updated a couple things as far as uh, how this is being branded. I want to just make sure. Um, again, everyone knows that this is nothing that I suggest doing to yourself. If you want a tattoo, um, go out and pay for it, you know, uh, support the people in your, uh, your community who have put in the hard work and effort, gotten the training and, uh, have the tools and capabilities to do things that don't look like garbage. Um, no matter how cool your friend is, uh, that you give that six pack or 12 pack to, to pay for that tattoo, um, it's not going to come out nearly as good. And if it does, it's got a much higher risk of becoming infected or something along those lines. So again, uh, you know, I just want to make sure that I, I stress, um, I do not condone doing this to yourself. Um, which would lead to the question like, Hey, uh, Brady, why are, why are you doing this? Um, and again, I, I covered this uh, in, in the last video uh, a little bit, and, and I'll continue saying this for, for anybody who decides to join in um, on the, uh, the live stream itself uh, so that they can, they can know um, I'm doing this because uh, this is something that interests me. Um, I don't take permanence uh, to be very serious. Um, I know that you only get one skin, but uh, I mean, you know, this is mine and, and I'll, uh, I'll do with it, uh, what I like, especially, um, now that I am, uh, seeing my way out of the military and, uh, and going into a new, a new life, which, you know, that'll come up, uh, as a, as a topic again and again as well. Um, so I guess without further ado, uh, I'll hop into kind of what my process is and, uh, and just kind of show, a little bit of my setup and, and describe everything. Um, so uh, what you can't see off the screen right now um, and what I probably, I just don't have any reason to show you is uh, a power supply for my, uh, for my tattoo machine um, and, uh, and a switch instead of a pedal. Uh, I, you know, I like the setup a little bit more. Um, I've seen several professionals, uh, use this, this type of setup. Um, I say that in all honesty, uh, I cobbled mine together, um, from an RCA plug and, uh, and a switch, uh, an actual technical like push button switch that I picked up at a hardware store. Um, it works for me because it's big. Uh, and it, it does its job. I, I can hit it while it's, uh, covered in plastic um, to keep everything clean. Speaking of which, uh, I also have my tattoo machine, which um, you'll see me working with. Um, I've got a couple of different needles that I'll be working with, and I'll show you show you this stuff as well. Um, I'm purposefully trying my hardest not to uh, to say anything um, that would be where it would look like I'm condoning something or that I'm being sponsored by something. Um, I, I will not as best to my ability show any kind of name brands, um, <laughs> or, or any kind of manufacturer mark or anything like that, because I don't want to, uh, I don't want to make it look like, you know, they, they condone this as well. Um, I know for a fact they won't, uh, due to how difficult it was to get some of the materials, um, that are, that the professionals do use, uh, I had to, I had to go through, um, some different third party sites and agree to certain things. So, um, I do have a couple of, of needles that I'll be using. Um, likely, hopefully I'll only be using one. Um, I keep hearing and I keep trying, uh, to shade with, uh, a large liner. Um, I don't think it's large enough. So if that's the case, I do have a, a small round uh, shader um, that that I'll be using as well. Let me uh, go ahead and switch views here. Uh, I'm going to set it up to where I have the uh, my tattoo area up top. Here I am. I'm down on the bottom. Um, and my chat should be running if anyone decides to uh, to chime in. 
Um, yesterday I had uh, I had long tour. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for following me. Um, Sign in yesterday, and uh, right as I was getting off, I saw that uh, that they attempted to chat. Um, sorry about that. If you decide to come back, or if you watch any of uh, my future videos, um, hey, welcome. Uh, I'm glad that uh, glad that you joined in. Sorry I didn't see you. Um, it was a little bit a little bit preoccupied. Uh, I'm trying to get better about this, but um, yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll go we'll go as we can, right? So. As you can see, this was my uh, nasty little narwhal that I did yesterday. Um, I just now uncovered it just because I'm going to be pulling at the skin. I don't want to be pulling at a Band-Aid or uh, a bandage. Um, I know that this is not the right thing to do. Uh, don't worry. The gloves are not just new. They're also, they've been washed with uh, some, some sterilization, some, some green soap, and uh, a little bit of witch hazel. Um, that doesn't really do a whole lot for sterilization, but it does do okay for not messing up too much more of my skin. Um, this fun little, uh, little illustration that I've done here on my stencil, um, you can't probably tell what it is. I'm going to reach across and, uh, and just kind of poke this up here. Uh, maybe you can see a little bit better, um, with this. I'm kind of going for a burnt match stick. Um, I will be outlining everything, including the, uh, the smoke. I'm not going to try to do any fade, anything like that. Uh, I like to, uh, to leave that open um, in case there is kind of color or anything that I do want to do in the future. I can do that. Like, uh, you know, my narwhal, I do plan on cleaning it up once it's fully healed, um, or at least trying to uh, probably just make more mincemeat out of my leg in the process. But, um, but I'm cool with that. It's fine. It's fine. As long as it doesn't get infected, as long as everything's safe, uh, not only is this a learning process, it's a process in general. So, um, so I, I went ahead and I slapped this, uh, this stencil on here. You can see I can rub it. Uh, I get minimal amount of uh, any kind of, you know, smearing or anything like that. Um, if you're curious how I do this, uh, I'll go through that in another, another video. Um, I'll just go ahead and set one up. And, and have it ready to go. Uh, but essentially, there's a lot of tutorials out there. All I'm using, believe it or not, is a speed stick, which I hear is not the best, but hey, you know what? Once it dries and once you give time, the, the stencil time to, to dry, um, like I said, I mean, it's it's pretty minimal smearing. The uh, the stencil itself is, uh, is produced from contact paper, but it's not the kind that you use, like, you know, like that three-piece contact paper that you would use like carbon paper. This is a thermal paper. Um, you can buy it, uh, relatively cheap. Um, I am probably one of the most, uh, uh, frugal people. Um, so I've been using the same sheet, uh, for the past few days, just kind of playing around with it, uh, practicing applying the, uh, the stencils that I make on, uh, on my kids. I do not tattoo my kids. Do not, do not, do not tattoo your kids. Um, but, uh, but I do, you know, I mean, they, they draw on themselves all the time. You know, they, they, uh, my, my daughter's like super into tattoos. Um, she's nine. Um, so I can't wait to meet her first real boyfriend. Um, I'm sure he'll have much better tattoos than me. She probably will too. Um, but, uh, I have practiced kind of putting that, uh, the process of putting it on them, um, process of putting on myself. You can see uh, I have hairy legs. Uh, regardless of how hairy or not hairy your legs are, shave them before you do anything like this, before you attempt to tattoo anything. Um, that's important. Uh, it's important because you want to make sure that if your needle catches a hair, um, you won't notice. It's not like it's going to pull your hair out or anything. But one, you get the accuracy. You're not like messing around in this forest full of trees, right? Um, but you're also uh, you're you're also making sure that you're you're not like embedding that hair under your skin, getting an infected hair, carrying that to the rest of the tattoo, and and doing some damage. Again, this is kind of it's one of those things where it's it's very um, I try to be very hygienic, even though I am in a house with animals. Again, I don't suggest that you do any of this. None of it. <laughs> None of it. This is for me and, uh, and, and for me to, uh, to share this process with other people. Um, and, and it's a very important process for me. I will say, uh, as I get into it later, I'm just shaking up some ink now. Um, 
I will say that, uh, you know, as much as tattoo professionals would hate me, um, as much as they would say that what I'm doing is absolutely just like the worst thing ever. The only thing that could make it worse is if I was doing it out of my garage and, you know, had a bunch of cockroaches or something. Cause I have, you know, I have a couple cats that roam around here. I have a dog that's probably going to go nuts sometime during the video. Um, they stay well away from me or else I kick them. No, not really. I just kind of see there goes one right now um, behind me. He's uh, he's the one I have the most to worry about. Luckily, he's getting in the dog's kennel. Um, that's Vladimir Purton. Uh, yeah, probably too early for for one of those dogs. But um, but yeah, that, I named him before his namesake invaded the Ukraine. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a touchy subject. I'll just move on. Um, so anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess I can go ahead and get started. Let me show you this setup real quick. Something that I do. My whole desk is just wrapped in plastic wrap. Just so you know, this is a, a little top hat that I've adhered to a popsicle stick using some of the, um, lubricant that I'll be using and to kind of soothe the area while I'm going through it. And also to be able to catch those ink spots that pop out. Um, while I'm, while I'm tattooing. And then I take this popsicle stick with this adhered top hat and I use that same stuff and I adhere it <laughs> to the plastic wrap on my desk. So I know it's not really going to go anywhere, uh, anytime soon. I also have a blob of the stuff that I'm about to put on my glove. Um, this stuff like melts, like no man's business at room temperature. Um, this is not a, uh, petroleum based oil or grease or anything like that. This is actually uh, all plant-based. Um, smells great. Uh, I'm not going to give you the name brand because again, we're not playing that game. All right. So I put a little bit on my hand so that I have easy access to it while I'm tattooing in case something gets a little, uh, feels like I'm catching a little bit uh, or, or the ink is, is uh, starting to, you know, splatter a little bit too much and makes it a little bit too hard to, uh, to move. Um, so yeah, I'll just, I'll put a little bit of, of that down. Um, the first needle that I'm going to use is this guy. So it is, let me make sure I'm saying it right. It's a 12, seven, uh, and it is a liner. All right. So plenty of tutorials out there again on how to, uh, how to, how to read these, what they mean. Um, this is what I have been using to me. I thought that this was large. Um, it is really small and I, because I get nervous around needles and I get nervous around people and you know, not a whole lot of people that I'm dealing with right now, but you know, eventually someone's going to see this, uh, besides, uh, my kids and their classmates and my friends, my really close friends who, um, would love to support me. Um, but, uh, I shake and if you shake at all, like, don't do this again. Like, don't do this. Pay somebody who has the hands of a surgeon for crying out loud, um, to do this for you, with you, walk through this process, guide you like, you know, all those types of things. Um, covering up name brand here. All right. So you can see my tattoo gun with exception to the, I said gun, it's not a gun, this tattoo machine, uh, with exception to the, uh, the grip here. Um, it is, uh, covered, right? Um, cord is covered mostly, uh, this one part, uh, that's a little bit long. I need that length for now. Uh, my cord covers don't cover that. And so far I haven't been able to get something with a rubber band to stick really well with that. But you can see, uh, I do have this and, and I wipe that down with alcohol, even though I'm the only person using this, like I'm not trying to get sick. I'm not trying to get, you know, all these little tattoos, um, infected, um, or anything like that. So, uh, so I do, I do try to, uh, to practice this whole thing. Um, so you can see I'm using a rotary machine. This is not your typical coil machine. Uh, I like it. It's a little bit quieter, even though whenever it's in this bag, it rattles as much as a coil does. Cause, the, uh, this bar right here will hit. Um, it is adjustable right now. I have it throwing out at five, uh, five millimeters. That's that I I've adjusted the grip. It doesn't throw out that far. It still, it throws out a little bit farther than what I want it to currently, but, um, but it's, it's really, it's not too bad. So, 
I will probably end up adjusting this along with uh, my voltage at some point in time. Um, so essentially all I have to do here is turn on the machine, load up the needle by dipping it in the ink, coming over here and making sure uh, that I get my best stretch on my lines as possible. And then you will see me right now, I am cool as a cucumber, not shaking at all. My dog is about to go nuts because she doesn't like school buses. All right, and then she'll really go nuts whenever my son comes home. So you might see him on screen as well. All right, so uh, I will stretch the skin in three different ways. Two with my finger, one going up and down, and then one uh, with my whole hand coming off to the side. Uh, I will try to come in at a 45 degree angle. It makes it a little bit difficult uh, while I'm trying to do this on two different cameras and also, you know, it being my first time. Again, cool as a cucumber right now. I know over and over again, I can just do this line, no problem. But once this machine comes on and I start stabbing myself with a needle, it doesn't feel great, um, but I'm not in it for feeling great uh, while it's happening. Uh, it's definitely more of a, a process for when it's over. Hey, there she is. Go, get, get out of here. She's mad at the cat for being in her kennel. All right, so really, really light coating of this. This stencil has been drying for a while. Uh, I suggest if you go through any of the tutorials and they tell you about how to apply stencils, um, leave it dry as long as you can. Uh, you'll hear people say that all the time. Leave it, leave it dry as long as you can. The reason being is because the longer it dries, uh, the less it's going to wipe out, wipe off. All right. Now I do have some, uh, some paper towels as well that I'll be using to, to dab. Uh, I will probably make the mistake early on and just start like, like rubbing it. Don't just, please don't, don't do that and don't do what I do. All right, here we go. Yeah, hear that? Holy crap, that is shooting out about five millimeters. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Here, let me, uh, look at that. Whew, that's a little bit, that's a little bit rough. Let me, uh, try to adjust this real quick. Get that a little bit smaller. Nope, not that way. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's about as far as I want it to be. All right, load up the needle. I can tell it's loaded up because you can see the ink in it now. All right, now something that I've been practicing or pre preaching but not practicing, you know, I do have this stretch, but I have been working like all over instead of starting at the, uh, what would be the bottom and working my way up to the top. Here we go, oh shoot. Sorry, really did not mean to cuss, by the way. I'm trying to keep this as uh, PG as possible. Just in case, you know, my kids or my kids decide to uh, have any of their friends view this. I don't want parents being like, oh, hey, you're the guy who was cussing while he's stabbing himself with needles on YouTube or Twitch. That was me. That was me. All right, let's see what we got so far. Yeah, you can definitely see some of the lines where I was shaking. Even one where I just went nuts. All right. Right back up with ink. One of the things I don't like that I'm having a really difficult time with is making sure that I get the ink in there without uh, without doing any, you know, drops from the end. Like if you dip a paintbrush and then decide that you're gonna, uh, and then decide that you're gonna you paint 
you want it all on the brush. You don't want it like on the metal part. And then the metal part touches the paper somewhere else. And now you've got two lines, you know, like, or a big glob of paint where you didn't want it. And so that's something that I'm really struggling with, um, along with, you know, everything else. All right. So that's this. Let's go. Little jiggly guy. See what I mean? Like it got a lot heavier in this area. Ooh, I'm using a needle to point. Um, it got a lot heavier in this area uh, because it was just dripping out of the tip of the tube and not coming from the needle. So uh, this is something I would expect to uh, to see. Uh, since I because I don't see anybody actually on screen, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, and do like a another view here, so you guys might be able to see a little bit better. Something tells me my son is home and I've locked him out. That being said, we'll be back in just a second. All right, we're going to go ahead and get back at this. Sorry about that, guys. I'll try to edit that out um, as we uh, as we get further along here. All right, let's see. Where was I? I was trying to give you guys a better view. Not of me. Beautiful, beautiful me. But there we go. All right. So you guys can kind of see a little bit better. Uh where I'm, I'm chewing myself up. Not really. This is actually not too bad. I like, the, I like the, the more dynamic lines. Some of the, the straighter lines um, that I'll get into. I know I'm gonna mess those up a little bit more, but, uh, but I really, I really enjoy, uh, I really enjoy these, these more curvy, more curvy lines. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more of this stuff down. Um, just seems to really kind of help out. My, my visibility more than anything. I know it looks like it's smearing black, but I can actually see this a lot better. And I know when, uh, I know whenever that ink is splattering versus where my line is laying down. Again, I am trying like super, super hard to come through and do as few pickups as possible. So that as I'm doing this, I'm not going over the same area over and over again. And it looks like more of one cool, cohesive, piece as opposed to you know a bunch of bunch of different things going on and you can see I got pretty damn deep on this one this one curve here definitely not what I wanted to do a little bit light on this part I'll probably go back over that one more time just so we can there we go there we go. That's a little bit better. All right. Now we're going to get to the matchstick part. This is just the smoke part. Um, I mean, come on, guys. I'm doing like a narwhal here, right? I'm doing narwhal on one side, doing a burnt matchstick on the other. Like, what am I trying to say? 
What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say I don't take this too seriously. Um, but also, you know, I mean, you're doing this like, hopefully you're not doing this. I'm doing this uh, as kind of a, it's kind of a little bit of therapy for me. Um, I think I mentioned that, you know, I am, I am in some therapy. Uh, and my therapists think that this is probably like the coolest. I would be the second person who just decided, you know what? I just want to, I just want to like tattoo myself. And I just feel so good about doing it. And so they're like super supportive. And I'm like, what? Like, this is, this is like borderline the most ridiculous thing. Like professional tattoo, tattooers, artists, like true artists would be like, this is wrong. Don't do this. What this guy is doing. Absolutely. 100%. Like, again, go to a professional, you know, but, but for me, like this, this journey that I'm on is uh, this thing that I'm trying to do here. It's a little bit of self-discovery, I guess you could say, but it's also, it's also about, you know, kind of telling a story of, of living. Shaky there at the end. Um, I mean, you guys could probably, you know, take a three guesses and two of them be the same answer. And you guys probably know I'm in the military or I'm on my way out of the military and, you know, I'm in therapy. Like, hmm, what, what could be wrong with this, this guy, right? Like, take a guess. But you know, going in and adding this, uh, this third piece here, this one little squiggle to kind of give it some dimension um trying to dab i'm not trying to knock the ink out of it all right so i do have this one little area that i did not do right all right so that my friends is a burnt matchstick I would love to color this in and I am going to try with this round um, because I do feel like this is a fairly good size uh, needle for this. Um, I'm going to give it a little go. I'm going to see how well the ink actually packs in there. Um, if it doesn't, I'm going to pull out the shader uh, and, uh, and and try to, to use it to, to pack a little bit better. So, um, there we go. Uh, everyone says, you know, do these tiny little circles. Problem is, is that, again, you know, I go in there with the ink. I can't quite see what I've hit and what I haven't. So I'm trying really hard not to do the scratchy business, you know. Follow the contours of some of these straighter, more burny looking lines, you know. Sit there and you know do what every amateur tattooist does that really seems to piss off the pros you know then they get that fun nickname scratchers you know so i'm trying really hard not to do that um let's see let's see where we ended up there uh i mean that's not terrible can, I can definitely I can definitely see the black. Uh, it is a little bit difficult to see again where I have hit and where I haven't. And I definitely I don't want any of this falling out. But also, you know, I'm not interested in blowing this out either and making it you know this bruised area. Guys, this is like tattooing is like getting tattoos is a young man's game or a young woman's game or a young insert gender here game, you know, like it's not, you know, 
like I'm old compared to like a lot of the people that would be watching this, you know. So a blowout, blowouts whenever the ink goes or the needle goes too deep, it carries the ink with it. And then you just look like you have this big bruise. And uh, instead of instead of it being like a you know a nice crisp crisp line, all right. I don't know if you guys can see that too well, uh, but that is. My lovely matchstick. Now, question is, should I try to add any shading at this point in time? The answer, most definitely, is no. But we might as well try it anyway, because I do have these fun shaders, and, and you know, why not? So here's my shader. Um, as you can see, probably not the best focus, focus camera. Focus. Anyway, uh, the needles are slightly tapered into a round. Um, this is not going to pack color in unless I like really like hit hard with it, which I'm definitely going to not try to do. Um, I pull everything out of the packaging. Not. I hope y'all didn't see the name brand there. I pull everything out of the packaging uh, to show uh, that you know it's been sterilized um, because. I'm not reusing stuff. Uh, there's a couple reasons. Um, one, I think that's ridiculous. Um, these, you know, tattooing materials are definitely not the uh, the cheapest thing on the market. But, um, but you know, I mean, this is cartridge is not that expensive. Um, so why why even you know uh, test whether or not you're going to get an infection or you know anything else so that's reason number one uh reason number two is because having dealt with uh having multiple piercings on my body um to include my nipples i know that even after a very short time or one time use of uh some of those needles it will dull them considerably and uh and so why would i want to use like dull needles and I'm already doing enough damage as it is guys like why would I why would I want to do even more with with dull needles so yeah we're going to stay away from that and uh and try to use all fresh stuff so let's see how this guy works out I have not even tried this this is like you know like yesterday you guys watched me give myself my first tattoo today you get to watch me do my first shading so what I'm going to try to do is actually come up a little bit. Just oh, that's not that's not loaded enough, y'all. Gotta get some ink in there. Come on now, be my be my buddy. Right. And I'm going to go around the head of that needle. Just kind of pull up to where we get like that. Get some light, light shading there. Now, of course, I realize none of this is like scientific, you know, would smoke do this? No, smoke would not do this. You know what smoke would do? It stays far away from my leg as possible. That's what smoke would do. Um, but that, that said, you know, I am, you know, trying to hit the bottom. Right. Back down here. There we go. Let me get a new uh, paper towel real quick. All right. Now I'm gonna 
think my back turned off there. Not, this is definitely not at all anywhere even close to the kind of shading that I would expect to have. Give it a shot. But it's a good thing I'm not paying for this, except with uh, you know my own skin. I know, you know, here I am a couple minutes ago saying I don't want to be scratching away. And that's like exactly what this feels like. And, you know, it's probably very close to what it actually is. All right. So that's going to be my shading experiment for the day. Hey, everybody. Look, his leg's all jacked up. That's great. So this is just some uh, green soap. Hopefully, uh, pull a little bit of that ink off, excess ink, wipe that. All right. So, uh, there we go. We can say that's either uh, my best work or my second best work since I've only done two of these. All right. So, uh, just look in real quick. I don't see anybody has joined the, uh, joined the chat. Um, that's cool. Uh, I don't really expect a whole lot of people to do that. Um, however, uh, I do hope that, uh, that you've enjoyed this. Um, and, uh, and hopefully, uh, if not tomorrow, uh, it will probably be closer to, uh, Monday, um, before I get back on. So, uh, let's see. I don't know what date that actually would be. So that'd be the uh, 21st of March is probably the next time I'll be back on. Um, you know, even uh, even disabled uh, even disabled folks have to uh, to take a vacation every once in a while. So um, going to the beach. All right. Uh, so hopefully, if you guys didn't get a chance to uh, to see this here. Um, I will be uploading it to YouTube. You can see uh, the link to my, my YouTube channel. It's a fledgling channel, just started yesterday. Woo -woo. Um, so, uh, so the link is gonna look really weird. Hopefully at one point in time, I might be able to uh, actually, you know, get something that makes a little bit more sense. But uh, check out my profile here. Um, go ahead and, uh, and check this out on, uh, on YouTube or check out the one that I did yesterday if you missed it. All right, guys. Uh, it's great, uh, great seeing y'all, and uh, hope to uh, to do this again soon.